Good morning, everybody. My name is Rodney Gilbert. I played four years at uh, the University of Mayville State, and I'm here to teach you guys the fundamentals of baseball this week, which would include throwing, catching, infielding, outfielding, and of course, hitting. Uh, after this week's session, you should be able to jump right on the field and play baseball. So let's get started. For our first drill, we'll be getting warmed up. Usually people just jump into throwing without getting their arm properly warmed up and that leads to injury further down the road. So for the first set of warmups, we're gonna be doing Joe's. So you're gonna start with your elbow out, glove in your hand if you have it. If not, it doesn't matter, you don't need it. Hand on your elbow and you're gonna be raising your palm to the sky. And that's, that's, the, that's the warm up. So you do that for 10 reps. Okay, and then from there, you're gonna go elbow to your side, palm out, and you're gonna do that for 10 reps. Okay, next drill will be elbow up, palm down, and you're gonna raise your hand all the way up, and then go all the way back down. All the way up, and all the way back down. So we're gonna do that for 10 reps. After you finish those, we're gonna finish off our stretching with elbow raises, which is elbow at your side, and then elbow right to the sky, and back down. Elbow right to the sky, and back down. You wanna do 10 reps of that. And if you feel like it, you can do these on both arms. Usually I just do it on my throwing arm to get the blood flowing before I start throwing an actual baseball. Okay, for our first throwing drill, we're gonna grab a ball, we're gonna drop to our knee, we're gonna get into the dart position, which would be palm up, hand on your wrist, and you're just gonna make 10 throws to your partner or off the wall, just like this, only using your wrist, just like you're throwing a dart. Yeah, so after 10 reps, you're gonna switch to no arm on your wrist, a little bit more of an arm motion. So bring your arm back a little bit, and you're gonna be throwing from here. Just like that, for 10 reps. After those 10 reps, you're gonna get into a proper throwing position. So you're gonna rotate your body to the side. You're gonna raise your arms like this. You're gonna drive this elbow down, and come through with your right arm. There's gonna be 10 reps, of throwing like this. After you get your 10 reps like that, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna reset the process. So you're gonna go back to dart, 10 more throws standing like this. From there, you're gonna go elbow up, elbow back, 10 throws using your arm, get those. After those 10 throws, you're gonna go, same thing we did, face sideways, you're gonna get your elbow up, drive your hand in, finish your throw. 10 reps of that, and after you complete those reps, you're gonna turn the other way, this is called the football drill, and you're gonna rotate so your chest is open, elbow out, and you're gonna throw across your body. And this drill is really good for infielders to make those weird, awkward throws. So you're gonna do 10 reps of that. And then after those 10 reps, we're gonna step back, and we're gonna use our feet. So we're gonna crow hop, and do a complete throwing motion just like you would in a game. So 10 reps of the complete motion, after you finish that warm up. Okay, so now that we're all warmed up, we got blood flowing through our arms, we're gonna move into some throwing drills. But before we move into those throwing drills, we're gonna learn how to properly hold the baseball. So, most elite baseball players will hold the ball like this, with two fingers across these seams. That's called a four seam grip. If your hand is too small right now, you're gonna use three fingers across those same seams, also in the four seam grip. So that will allow you to have proper spin on the ball when you're throwing it to your target. And so the ball won't move right, won't move left, won't raise or fall. It'll have the proper spin and stay straight. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so now we're gonna do make some throws. If you're like me at home and you have no one to throw with, you can go out to a park or your garage or something and find yourself a flat wall and make throws off of that. So while you're throwing, make sure you remember everything we just went over. Make sure you have the proper grip. Make sure you're using your feet and working through the ball. A lot of mistakes I see are people uh, that pull their body away from the ball, they'll throw the ball sidearm. Make sure you're coming right over the top with the same grip and throwing it straight at your target. So it'll look like this. So 
So you see how every throw I have the same grip, I'm using the same arm motion, I'm bringing my left arm through to create power, and I'm using my feet and moving towards my target. So those are the keys, is use your feet to move towards your target and stay consistent with your arm action on both arms. So like this. Just like that. So this week we went over the fundamentals of throwing. I know it's simple and it seems like you shouldn't have to learn it, but it is a very key aspect of the game. As soon as you get these down, the hard throws, the long throws, the underarm, the sidearm type throws become a lot more simple because you know the basics and the fundamentals. So let's go over those fundamentals. First we started with stretching, so we had the Joes, if you guys remember that. So don't forget these before you start to throw. Second, we went over the grips on the ball. So remember you want to have it in a four seam grip, with three fingers if your hand is too small, with two fingers if your hand is just the right size. So those are very, very important basics. After that, we got into the three or the six uh, drills in progression. So we started on our knee, we were doing the dart drill, remember that? And then we went to full arm action, and then we went to use of both arms from our knee. After that, we stood up and repeated the same progression. Don't forget about how important these things are because once it is ingrained in your brain, you won't forget how to throw. You just need to do these things. Um, after that, we worked on actually throwing to your, uh, yourself or a partner. So remember to use your feet, work through the ball, uh, stay consistent, and the throw should come out nicely every time. In the next episode, we'll be going over the fundamentals of catching and from catching from behind the plate. So make sure you don't miss out on that.